Hi, now here we have an example on proving a trig identity. And if you haven't done this question already, good chance to have a go, just pause the video. Or if you've had problems on this in the past, then the work solution will follow in a moment. Now, in the first part of this question, we've got to express 4 cos x squared 2 theta minus cos x squared theta in terms of sine theta and cos theta. And then it says, hence show that 4 cos x squared 2 theta minus cos x squared theta is identical to sex squared theta. So when we do this problem, let's just start with the first part. We've got 4 cos squared 2 theta minus cos squared theta. And we've got to express this in terms of sine theta and cos theta. So I should write an identical sign rather than an equal sign because we're sh showing or proving an identity rather than solving an equation. Now 4 cos squared 2 theta is the same as 4 times cos squared 2 theta. The cos 2 theta, cos as a function, is 1 over sine of the angle. So here we've got 1 over sine 2 theta all squared which is exactly the same as 4 over sine 2 theta all squared. All right. And then for cosec theta all squared or cosec squared theta, that's going to be the same as minus 1 over sine theta, where sine theta is all squared. Now you should be familiar with sine 2 theta, the identity for sine 2 theta. You most probably may well know it as simply sine 2a, okay, is identical to 2 sine a cos a. But obviously there's not much difference between this and sine 2 theta, just a is the theta. So we can think now of this as being the same as 4 all over 2 sine theta cos theta and all of this is squared all right and then we've got minus 1 over sine theta all squared now let's just tidy these terms up this first term we've got the 4 on the top but underneath, if we were to square this out, we've got 2 squared, which is 4, and then we've got sine theta all squared, which can be written as sine squared theta, and then cos theta all squared, which can be written as cos squared theta. And for this term, minus 1 over sine theta all squared here can be written as sine squared theta. Now I notice that these two 4's cancel one another out now, OK? So we've got 1 over sine squared theta cos squared theta minus 1 over sine squared theta. And you could argue that at this point we've expressed 4 cos x squared 2 theta minus cos x squared theta in terms of sine theta and cos theta. So Possibly this is the end of part A. You could carry on in the fact that we've got to now show that this is identical to sex squared theta. So whether you decide to finish A off here or carry on, I would want to put this as one term. I'd want to put it over a common denominator. And that common denominator would have to be sine squared theta cos squared theta. So I can see that for this term here, it's just going to be 1 over this, so that would be 1 there. And for 1 over sine squared theta, I can see that in this denominator we've got cos squared theta, so I'd need to multiply top and bottom by cos squared theta. So I do 1 times cos squared theta and that just gives me cos squared theta there. So this too could be an answer to A. We still have got the expression here in terms of sine theta and cos theta. Now 1 minus cos squared theta 
is a well-known identity. You should be familiar with this, that sine squared of an angle, let's say we call it A, plus cos squared of the same angle, A, comes to 1. So if you were to rearrange this, if you were to subtract cos squared A from both sides, you'd have sine squared A is identical to 1 minus cos squared A. So we can pick up on this then by saying that this is identical to sine squared theta all over sine squared theta times cos squared theta. And you'll notice that both these sine squared thetas can now cancel one another out. So what we're left with then is that this is identical to 1 over cos squared theta. And 1 over cos squared theta is exactly the same as sec squared theta. And that's what we had to show in part B. So where does A end? Where does B start? Well, it's difficult to say. In the mark scheme, they tend to suggest that this is the place that you can get to, all right? And then they carry on for part B from here onwards. But it's still difficult, in my opinion, to know where one finishes and the other starts. But nonetheless, I hope that's given you some idea on how to go about this question.